All right, lads, welcome to a nation that I haven't played since I made a guide on it about, like, what, a year and a half ago? Uh, which is Novgorod. Uh, don't be deceived by Novgorod's size. It's actually a pretty tricky start. Muscovy starts, um, pretty much guaranteed to declare war on you within the first couple of years. And it's a ridiculously difficult war to win. Uh, Muscovy starts off with a two-star general. Uh, generally better um, manpower reserves. Also a load of vassals that keep on coming back. So they have like multiple manpower reserves. Whereas you don't have too much in the way of any of that. They also have an air that is a 345. So if you don't destroy them, um, which is tricky because their shock damage increase, then you'll just be outgrown over time. Your advantage is that they start with the two military uh, ruler, but you start with a two military guy as well, so you've got to try and split the difference. Uh, also, everyone hates you. Uh, I'm rivaled by Denmark, Lithuania, Livonia, and Tver, which is all horrible. Uh, I need to be going up against Tver immediately because the only way I stand a chance is by getting Patriarch uh, Authority enough to get 5% discipline. I get that by consecrating a Metropolitan, like this. This will give me five um, Patriarch Authority, but I can only do one of those. Oh, well, I can kind of do this one if I develop it. I also want Tver because it's a decent enough province and I kind of want to get as much of a buffer between me and Muscovy as possible, as well as the loan. So let's go ahead and rival Muscovy, the only person that didn't rival me. Uh, rival Tver and also the Livonians. I don't have a set strategy in mind. Um, I'm just going to wing it. Uh, we will be taking the right of council, Provincy over the crown, and also where's that plus one? We desperately need it. Get Patriarch Authority, please. British diplomats really isn't that useful for us because we are orthodox and hardly anyone is. All right, our advantage also is that we're a merchant republic, so we actually make a fair bit of cash. Instead of collecting from the White Sea, let me collect from here instead. And we have money, so we'll build up. I don't know why, instead of saying cavalry, I was going to say horse boys. <laughs> but yes, horse boys. Uh, Muscovy's rival. No one. Just me. Cool. Great. Is there anyone that was willing to ally me off the, off the start? Right, Kazan. Kazan and the Great Horde, maybe. Let's go Great Horde. I don't think there's anything else we could do apart from get going. Well, we can try forming Russia, which is the general plan. Mm, we kind of needed a better general than that. I'm not going to waste our military power uh, by getting another general. I am instead going to get mercenaries when the time arises, which have guaranteed generals with them. Like a 3-3. We'll take a 3-3. Three, we'll three, three. The Novgorod company. Hey, so I'd Ryazan. Actually decent for us at the start because it will give us access to a little bit more money. Bear in mind that Muscovy could declare war on us any moment, and typically they will. Let's just start with three heavies, which I've never really found a use for. So let's just save the duck in a half. All right, let's get round into Ryazan. We have access to all of his provinces, so we should be able to destroy his army, siege the rest of his provinces, and get declared, declared war on by Muscovy, which, if you recall, wasn't the the plan. That was, um, that wasn't good. Okay, this will be fine. It'll be good. Oh, I was not prepared. I really thought I could sneak in a war to there. I really did. All right, let's start building some spy networks. I'm gonna hope they ignore this 4K. What's this war for? Belsk. I'm assuming that's over here. Yeah, they've already got it. Ryzen, we should be able to peace out for. Could I have allied the Great Horde in that time? No. Well, maybe. I'm just playing it by ear now. Okay. 37 ducats off you. And what we do now is we hide until the next tech. Yeah. The discipline guy. Just stairs. This, we're gonna get stacked back to But maybe I win the siege first? No, I do not. Ah! Re I was really banking on winning that siege. Alright, we're gonna have to peace out for money. Oh, god. Losing those 4,000 men was so costly. We had a couple of chances to win the siege, but nope. Not salty about it, of course. Alright, so whilst we wait for Miltek 4, we're gonna pick off a couple of these smaller stacks. Here we are losing 13 ducats a month. That's fine. Let's chuck defensiveness on you. Consecrate Metropolitan. And here, I need how much more? Uh, I need six more development. Okay, that can be done. Three, four. Consecrate Metropolitan. That should give us enough. Get discipline and map our recovery. But who's attacking me? Yeah, they can hold out for that long. Um, beating a quick retreat for now. Uh, I really don't want to separate my men. Come on, I'm going to keep this as close as possible. Recover a little bit and attach everyone to this. Now attach. Attach to Novgorod Company. Attach to the Novgorod Company. So now they should all run in the same circle. Yeah, let's go pick off this 3k and recover for a bit first. Maybe we send out a thousand men. Yeah, those, true, those extra 4k at the start would have been... Wonderful, but no. God, how quickly they declared war on me. How close are we to the tech? Two years, or one and a half. We can we can stall for one and a half years, and we can catch this lot. Hopefully, stack white with them. Excellent. This is one of my favorite things about E4. As much as this is a, like a hard fight to win, like the ability the ability to actually employ genuine tactics and fight defensively and play for time and stuff because you have an overarching game uh, or, um, aim is something that I don't really get from any other game. There's my little endorsement of E4. <laughs> I'll collect my paycheck now, Paradox. Uh, again, I don't really want to fight any large battles. Um, that is Woods, though. Hopefully that's a stack wipe. It is! That's huge. On the 3rd of March. When do I arrive? 4th of March. That's perfect. 
Should be able to get a stack wipe here. And another one. There we go. Okay. This has actually been my best ever performance in a war. <laughs> uh, is that the free company? No, they've got the Novgorod company. You bloody traitors. Ravens lock in up here. Donation from the Great Horde. Always good to see. Bad to deal with. Fingers crossed we can stack wipe the Novgorod company here. And so they can't have access to them. We do. Was that a Novgorod company? I think it was. Kazan's paying us now. How close are we to the next tech? Very close. Okay. Let's get some uh, get some sieges going. Kind of happy for them to run around. Go for the war goal as well. I can stack wipe this lot. Oh, those two war resortion, please. Uh, we'll take that so we can get the next tech a little bit quicker. We get it immediately. Excellent. Now we go on the offense. Uh, the aristocrats, don't you give me something when you're in power? Morale of armies. Yeah, okay. We need you in power. Need more military power. Nice. Okay. Next morale. So we actually have huge morale. Okay, manpower is still doing fine. Like I would, it's not even the Novgorod company. It's just company. Vincent? <laughs> <laughs> Such a niche joke about a retired Belgian footballer named Vincent Company. Most of all, like, you know, the dominant demographic of my audience is Americans. So they don't even understand for the most part. Let's sit and recover a little bit. How many men have you lost? 75,000 in battle. Jesus. With the morale to take probably one more month. Uh, you lot gather up. Start putting you on uh, Bluezer. All right, this is outbreak. We're not going to get a better chance than that to uh, get the quick stack wipe. Now we stop the attack. Okay, so the free company has enough to siege down Moscow itself. We can get another general. It's trash. That's fine. And I reckon we work our way around super slow. It's a three siege as well. We're actually going to go ahead and grab another general. Two, two. Put together a little army round here. And let's see what we can do with it. Did I lose my claim because I declared war for it? Nah, that's ain't CK3. Piskov area. Do I have any elements of the Piskov area in me? One or two more battles whilst we win that siege. Over the stack wipe. Daggered, so not going to be a stack wipe. Let's get the company to go and help out down there, though. And we're going to play a little bit riskier, spread out a bit, and see if we can capture back our lands. Just because I'm concerned about the loans and the loan sizes. I like Moldavia. Your vassals are all loyal. You've done a very good job there, apparently. He still has 5,000 manpower and 5,000 men. Does he have 5,000 manpower? Am I reading that correct? Yeah, he has about 6,000 men, 5,000 manpower. So more manpower than us, but we're kind of reliant on I think he just hired, yeah, he hired the Novgorod company back. They've recovered and betrayed us once more. All right. I feel like he's going to be gathering up his troops and going north. So we need to be careful of that. I didn't actually check. I've never actually checked out our uh, <laughs> uh, our mission tree because, of course, it was updated. I genuinely haven't played Mos uh, Moscow in the Novgorod. So I take this territory back and I get loads of flames. Uh, then I defeat them and I get loads of claims. Is this new? Uh, state Metropolitan in Novgorod. Patriarch Authority. The marketplace in Old Mulberry. And Alhanglis. I think it's good stuff. Okay. Protect White Sea trade. So lots of trading and that sort of stuff. Novgorod the Great. Not possible number of buildings plus three. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I'll play this like a trading game. Yeah, there's his troops. I want to send some boys down there to hang out. Oh, lovely. Support the government. Who's of Poletia? Religious values. Oh, it's got to be meritocratic rule, right? If I'm going down the money making route. Yeah, all right. We're going to go super meritocratic in this one. Lithuania's a great power. So did the whole... Oh, this is going to be a good game. Going round and up, presumably. Do you have the next tech? I'll pay for it. Okay. Now, I kind of want to do this according to you. So reconquer the Volga. Uh, and that's those three provinces. One, two, three, four. I want to take Moscow. This is, seems like a good peace deal to me. It means I have to go through the forts. Uh, how far are we away? Minus 55. Yeah, once, once we take Moscow, Moscow and... Rostov, we should be fine. Lose 10 Patriarch Authority? Absolutely not. Ever. Nah, let's not risk a battle right now. I've been really unlucky with these sieges. Come on, 49% for the third time. Damn it, cost me a lot of money. Ah, we've taken Rostov before we took Moscow. More loans. There we go. We take Velsk, we should. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we take that for the missions. We take the two forts and we take um, Moscow's capital. It would be good for us. All right, that's a good win. That gives us opponent claims in a lot of different areas, specifically Muscovy. All right, conquer Tver. I'd love to. 54, three years. We can conquer Tver. Put back our cores, so that should be fine. I should probably mention that we get cores, or we had cores on those areas. Conquer Tver, defeat Muscovy, dethrone the Rurikovi. Right, I think we're in a good place to get rid of Alexis. He did his job, and the free company. Drop this down to the one advisor, and I want a national unrest one to try and help with these Novgorod particulars whilst I do this. I think also buying down our war exhaustion is going to be a good idea. Should have... Um, done that before coring my promises but you know i'm not gonna make perfect decision advancement religion not really necessary easily solved let's just do this uh, he gives us ducats as well and the loyal right that was a rather successful war we can pay off seven of our loans we can keep our guys who's a four something or other and we get money okay brilliant and all of ours we're now debt free brilliant 
This was a fantastic start. I should have probably taken something to border Ryazan as well. Oops, no, accumulate rival. Uh, don't need to be doing that anymore. Let's get some more claims on you. And let's get the claims on. We now collect 7.29 from Novgorod. Uh, and we actually make enough to make get ourselves another advisor. Get the diplomatic. Ooh, no, trade efficiency. Even though it's kind of useless in this context. All right, we're going to create a trading post in the White Sea. And then we'll try and get to the Kazan trade node. I think Kazan and Kiev are the next sort of trade node. So this map mode, the the uh, trade map mode, is going to be the map mode we're going to be using to determine our conquest. I believe. Just this lot, really. Look at that. And we're a quite a healthy nation. Provided we don't lose the stability, we won't get the Peasants' War. No, it's got to be less than 25%. Ottomans are declaring war on Kazan? Did it say? It did say that the Ottomans are going to declare war on Kazan, right? What? Oh, it's maybe Epirus, I think. I just saw yellow. Right. Round two against Tver. Round one against the Livonians. I believe we are off to the races. 50% cheaper? Absolutely. All right. Take two. All right, what we got here? I'm tempted to take them as a vassal, you know? Yeah. I mean, we might get aggressive expansion, but I don't know that I care too much about that. You know, I went to all the trouble of actually coming down here, you know? Next tech. And when's our truce up with Muscovy? We've got to hit them immediately. Ooh, we could deck on Doyev. Muscovy declare war into there. Hmm. If I take two of their provinces and vassalize them. Defensive war against Muscovy. Reset the truce timer. Yeah, that's the play. We're going to vassalize Ryazan. Take two provinces, vassalize to there. Okay, we have run out of manpower. Buy ourselves the free company. Don't have any. Okay, we've got one more professionalism to do. Okay, and slacken. And then the free company, I don't know why. They start off with nine and now they've got four. Don't know what determines that. I should probably check. Can people join a coalition? That's fine. There's the vassalization. Get our troops ready. Pass the first of the month. And then let's deck. Take you two. And it's an idea to not take him as a, like, take his two provinces. And instead vassalize him. He does have a core on me, though. He's going to have more cores. What is the actual or is non-tributary subject? Yeah, let's just vassalize him. We're a benevolent dictator. Uh, coalition, that's fine. Hello, friend. We're back. Damn, you have a lot of troops. Okay. Um, I don't really want to click the button just yet because it's just the Tver area, so we need to annex him first. Can't get the Novgorod company for not oh, five years. Okay. Get the Cossack host. That's a two-three. Because our issue is the the general, right? Let's just get the independent army or the grand company or something. We got we got the money for it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab indebted to the burgers. We must be going to be paying for this anyway. Right, I've got to decide from resetting the truce timer or fighting them. Right, let's make sure to clean up all these little stacks because they will add up in a battle. And we've got morale of armies already. Do I really want to cross a river into a forest? Not particularly. I'll encourage him to do it though. Well, to be fair, he could be a good general. He's, he's not, but he could have been. Okay, he's going down that way. We'll see him if he goes to Vyatka, right? And that'll give us a chance to go down to Murom, defend the capital. Draw a little bit so we can bait him out. That 4k is probably worth the 10 prestige to placate. Or 20 prestige, actually. And get him involved. All right, I'm just going to go and threaten Murom real quick. That one's going to kill those troops. I really need to win that Siege of Murom. That's like 9,000 troops that are locked up. Ah, it's a stack wipe. There's the Siege of Murom, so it was worth it. They're just about going to get out. Hey, they retreat to Moscow, which is not the best place to retreat to. Five mil guy in charge now. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my god, you retreated one province away and I didn't see it until the last second. Okay, that's good. Then down here, go threaten uh, Doyev, and that should take him out of the war. He called in Doyev for this. Did he call in? Um, no, he didn't call Moldavia. Oh, they've gone. They're allied to both Lithuania and Muscovy. That is a diplomatic masterclass from them. Okay, let's start cleaning up here. Autonomy by minus 10 in all of our provinces. Love that. Yeah, this Russian government type is pretty insane with its bonuses. Okay. Yeah, there's no real coalitions up here, so I guess we are just fighting them, you know, to the death. That wasn't the plan going in, but, you know, plans change. There's already anywhere he can retreat to. We just hit him here and follow him. Provided he doesn't... Yeah, there he is. Came 500 manpower. That's a stack right there. My vassals can focus on sieging. Please be stack wipe. It's not quite. Unfortunately, we weren't able to run him down, but I can put the Grand Company with a slight siege general on that province. And then... Yeah, we should be good. Looking at all this. Skov is protected. Any incursions from Skov is protected by the Fort and Luki. They're going to go and siege down the stuff up here, which I'll go and clean up now. You are going to protect him, and then you're going to go on sieging. Okay, excellent. I don't know why it says consolidate power in the Doge. Uh... For years, the Republic has, has had its power base divided between the Doge, Council, and Ten, the Citizens, and countless other legislative bodies. I don't think that's necessarily true with Novgorod. I don't recall them having a Council of Ten, but okay. Gives us a load of governing capacity. Um, the trade power abroad is pretty good. I don't like sortition or the right to re-election. Do you like the idea of just governing capacity? Because we're going to need it. We're going to create a Doge, and we're going to consolidate power in them. We've seen what the Italians are doing, and we think that's quite good. All right, if I go and stand a Vyatka, should be able to defend against any sort of incursion. Because the AI surely doesn't think he can sneak past me, so he'll just stand there. Meaning that we can go and clean up my land. <laughs> just realized I unconsciously said we can go and clean up my land. Because we, it's, you know, it's, it's a shared struggle, you know? 
Because to clean up my land sounds like a task, and so I instinctively, you know, share that burden. But when it comes to reaping the benefits, i.e. my land, um, I very much use my. <laughs> Maybe there's something I should look into about that. Okay, do I want to take this territory directly, or do I want to hand it off to my vassal? I reckon directly. Some strong duchies going. Uh, actually, I want to make sure, okay. Because then I get a border with the doy of... Ah, should I should have gone to the bottom then to break that alliance with Lithuania. Reset the truth. Well, to be fair, it's not that big of a deal. No alliance between Poland. Interesting. What else has been going on? Portugal getting taken out by Burgundy. Sure. France is in quite well. Otherwise, yeah, pretty pretty standard. Nice. Uh, we should probably accept Muscovite as a culture, accept as a culture, and you kind of want the money. We're going to be quite a bit in debt. Yeah, a couple hundred. I think that works. We don't really need to get to Kazan just yet. I do want that gold mine, though, at some point. 98%. I think that does it. It's a very successful game so far. I'm shocked. Usually, they don't go this well. Rival Lithuania, and we can rival Denmark. The Great Horde, I feel like, is a better one, because we kind of, like, this is all downstream. I kind of want to conquer the things upstream involve the great horde uh so ryzan if you would not mind thank you get a claim all right we're well, great power uh i am gonna quickly spend some cash on a marketplace here so we can get that bonus otherwise all of our money is going to repay all of our loans and we're set again it's again a remarkably stable nation this usually never happens you've seen my videos i just <laughs> things are usually just broken yeah we are going to get novgorod in particular it's most likely it's a little bit annoying but that's fine get the trade edict going a little extra ducats here and there maybe these guys don't hit too hard otherwise we are going to have a very poor time indeed yeah i don't think you're going to do too well swedish pretender rebels oh Independence in supported by England. That's nice. You're at war with the Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Teutonic Order, Mecklenburg. But why? Did you attack the Livonians? Oh, I see. Okay. Attacker against Danzig. And the Teutons in an offensive war have called in that lot? Yeah, they called them in. Okay, that's interesting because that means the Poles are at war. Let's get some claims on Lithuania. Oh, uh, Bergen is getting taken out by France. Something else just happened there. I think some I think some battles got annexed. France just, just shift up a little bit. Stupid name placement. It's the most frustrating thing in this game. I don't really feel like getting Strelsey because it raises the uh, stability cost of your nation, which I don't like. Like Novgorodian peasants, it is worse. I didn't need to do that. I should have read the event first. Dude, do Poland have permanent claims all over the 20? I think they do. No, they don't. They're just over here. We are the disloyal. That's upsetting. And in six years' time, we can shift our focus elsewhere. The manpower lacking now. We founded Archangelisk, which gives it development cost, local trade power, and we get claims on perm, which is nice, and two in each category. That was a nice little province, that. I realize I've not been protecting trade at all with these slot, so that's a waste. Actually, a decent chunk. You've got 22,000 and... So you've got 30,000 men. Much stronger than I am. You are only Miltic 4 and I'm Miltic 6, so I feel like we should be going sooner rather than later. Hire some mercs to make up the difference and go for it. Yeah. Let's do these rolls first, though. Was, did they already win against the Mammoths? They did. Oh, the Rebs getting taken out. Next time, boys. All right, these are the separatists I want to deal with. This slot, to be fair. I reckon I'm going to provoke this lot. Muscovite ones are likely not to rise up anytime soon. I just want to maintain my advantage for now. Let us go ahead and grab free company. I'm tempted to just go ahead and get the grand company for now. We make enough to cover it. Less versatility though than, for example, these. That's still the three CGI. Okay, let's get both. Gotland, Riga, Doyev. Uh, let's send you down there. You go with him. In fact, yeah, let's do it slow. They got Doyev first. And let's get a better military advisor as well. And they'll actually make a difference. Discipline will do. That's a three star general. Mate, get in there. And that's 36,000 troops from the Lithuanians. They've just taken Miltic 5. Like I said, super slow. Just pushing gently. Get everyone to attach that. If they want to just stare at us and drive up. Oh, war score, that's fine. How are numbers look? Comparable, that's good for us. Because they will catch up over time, tech-wise. All right, we probably need to take a battle here. Uh, we no real way we can fight this without taking a river crossing. But he only has a 2-1, and we have a 3-star general. So, and a tech advantage. All right, he retreats. Good for us. That's a painful, well, it was, was going to be a painful battle, but fortunately, you know, 3-star <laughs> general. Okay, they're going to push into Puskov. Okay, we're going to check defensiveness on this. Does he have defensiveness? No. We have a 3-star general. That, well, we have a three siege guy anyway. The four siege guy doesn't seem to want to. Uh, but if he's going to head up there, what we're going to do is we'll spread out and siege down his land. See if he comes down south to deal with us. We should win that before he wins. Our icon's been forgotten. Let's get it again. Let's quickly remember that. So the reason we get that event, which gives us a core, is because we have uh, the faith provinces over here, whereas the uh, Lithuanians are Catholic. So they, uh, they're like, well, might as well go join the uh, Orthodox lot. Why are we sitting here becoming uh, Lithuanian? Okay, we can go straight through Polkas, which is great. Apparently, there were some Gotland troops down here. Goodness, I should say. All right, in your own time. There we go. Thank you very much. Nip and murder you lot. This has been the most successful, like, like war. It's just, it's gone really well, which is surprising. Usually, my, my wars don't go this well. Civil war and not got. Fought the merchant faction, fought the noble faction. Uh, I kind of want the five mercantilism. Behetsk and Never. Never's protected. Where's Behetsk? Sure, they'll be fine for a little bit. Fought the merchants, murder you lot. Go over there, murder the peasants. Always a good pastime in 15th century Europe. Reliable one. Ah, that's murdered our navy. Another battle seems to be in order. These have recovered handily. Oh no, where's the rest? This might actually be a stack quote. 
It is. <laughs> I'm so glad they made stack wipes easier, man. That period of time where you play E4, but you couldn't stack wipe anything was just horrible. Go and handle. Oh, no, the Gunnish decided not to land. Here we go stand on Riga. Yeah, them to submit. I'm pretty sure there's an event that means that you can take the general off of one of your mercenary companies. I think that's a really cool event. I have only ever had it once, so it's super rare. So I've been, if anyone knows like the stats on that, that'd be great. portland has been a nuisance. They know I can't take them. Ah, oh, we're no longer great power. That'll change. Uh, we take a Doyev. Riga's still on high, despite the fact that we are literal moments away from taking their land. Something happened. Something happened to our mercenary company. I've got to stop clicking through things. Ah, the Novgorod company has lost their... Insane general. So now they are useless. And I hate them. And in marketplace and a dot. 100% of my navy size. Okay, sure. To the end of the game, I get that stuff. Oh, oh conquer Riga. I don't just do that. I'll go expand to the Muslims after this anyway. There we go. There's Riga. Now, do I just conquer Riga? How upset would everyone be? Uh, let's give a doiv over to Ryazan. They can deal with that. Right. Now, I want to give Ryazan and this Ryazan. Do I want to make them any stronger? Maybe give them this region? Yeah, why not? Because I don't have to core it. And Ryazan's going to be a faithful little vassal for years to come. The bears get annexed. For my part, I want to focus on these areas that are our fate. We take about 300 ducats and we lobotomize Lithuania. Go murder these goodness troops. Apparently they don't want to be murdered because they're running away. Do we lose stability when our ruler dies as a republic? We didn't have an election. What the hell's going on? <laughs> what? Time duration four. I didn't get to pick him. You just... What? Am I missing something? Why? Why didn't I have an election? It doesn't make any sense. We're going to expand temple rights. Genuinely cannot understand... I don't understand why... Boris is in charge. What's our truce with you? Uh, 74. I do want to go after this. Uzbek will get involved, but that's not really an issue. But let's recover a little bit. Are you going after them for the union? You are. Interesting. All right, so what do I need to do to never? Market place and a dock. I need Diplotech 6. Well, we can build a market. Any other building related stuff before I just start building everywhere? State Metropolitan in Novgorod stability at least 2. Monthly wars is minus 0.15. Jesus. Hey, right. Conquer Riga have already done. Danzig or war. That'll be later on. That'll be kind of tricky, actually. Uh, conquering Muscovy. We're on the way. I'll deep throw in the Rakovich's. Conquering, okay, protect white sea trade. All the provinces in Perm and Laponia. But Perm we can do, Laponia we have to fight. Damn, France is in 30 years almost unified completely. Morocco is almost dead. Dude, Bohemia's gonna have a really nasty time. Because what's gonna happen is the Polish Lithuanian, um, because what's gonna happen is the Polish Hungarian Union's gonna happen and Bohemia's at war with Hungary. So, wait, did I take the province with the core? No, I didn't. We need our stability to be at least two. So that's one more stability. And now we get this. So for 20 years, stability cost modifier minus 15% and war exhaustion. Cathedral cities have at least 10 ballistic basilica. And let's start shipping some men over to Riga so I can trigger a revolt. Plus we need to have 100% of our force limit. Uh, so let's just start building because that's going to take a while. We don't have any ports. <laughs> I suppose we've got some up here. Who's, pff, we're not losing 20 armor tradition. Separatists, provoke revolt. Doing a little bit of cleanup. You know, sometimes it's satisfying just to just to clean up after your messes. Okay, Denmark declared war on Sweden. That to me sounds like we should be declaring war on Sweden. <laughs> okay, well, this guy's a 5-2. I'll take that. Stockholm's already under siege. Grab one of the other forts. Hey, you're not under siege. You are. So let's go to Kalmar. He doesn't have any troops, so we've got to just spread out right now. And then the Danes and Norwegians will fill in the gaps. I don't really want to fight the Danes. Ah. Okay, my boy died in Viborg, that's fine. We can need to get here as soon as possible. Let's stop blockading for him. He just we need that siege of Stockholm to last as long as we can possibly stretch it out for. We'll be able to nip in and out with a couple of different provinces from this. There's the siege of Viborg. Really taking advantage of the chaos here, huh? <laughs> ah, there's Stockholm done. How much war score does that give him? 34%. You need 60 for the reunion. Uh, that might do it. Ah, the time plots. Well, actually, I'm not doing anything else, so perhaps the exact time. Uh, I need you to help me out here. So there, you have the siege guy. Or you could just sit there, I suppose. How much war score does he have? 49%. That's enough if he's on low. Go with handle that as well. Excellent. Siege of Kalmar. All right, that's as much as we're getting. So let's take Viborg, Laponia. I'm tempted to release Finland. We take Viborg, release Finland. That gives us uh, some claims, and then the rest of the stuff we can give to them after we release. But what doesn't Finland get? We need this stuff up here. I do like to take Dallas Gogan, but he's cut me off here. I could just call it go all the way around. Go ahead and. He's not Catholic, is he? Well, this land's all Catholic anyway. Now, here's the question. Am I able to give you that? No. I'm just doing it myself. You allied anyone important? No. And you got rid of all your allies or some... You allied anyone important? Nope. And you've also... <laughs> Truce the Ottomans, cool. There's no way you have 20,000 troops. Uh, nope, 11,000. And we have claims everywhere. All right. Good night, sweet prince. This is it for you. Can I actually do it in one more? I don't think so. There we go. That's one bit of damage there. Where are you going? Over to Perm? Oh, what was Perm, I suppose. Damn, that makes it two walls. It makes the province easy to siege, I suppose. I'll just corner off over here and hopefully don't even have to deal with them. That Kazani vassal could be huge. Having said that, I don't know. I, I kind of have three vassals already. Well, we could definitely take more vassals. That's not an issue. Uh, to, to there. You want to help out, huh? Look, look, watch, watch. There you go. Come on, buddy. You're embarrassing yourself. What are you doing? Get in there. Finland's doing it. Because we don't have to fight this army if we don't want to. And I do not want it. I love taking... 
goddamn tech just before I can take an institution. You know what? No, it didn't happen. Ah, look, I have tech available. But guess what? I can almost embrace the institution, so I think I'll do that. And he's bought that one late. Congratulations. Unless, of course, the editor has screwed me over here and showed me restarting. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Gives us some points left over, and we can go ahead and get... I think to go plutocratic. I kind of want to go a military idea first, because we're kind of behind time on the other ones. So plutocratic uh, is a nice balance between them all. And we're using a lot of mercenaries, so that reduced cost would be very useful. Okay, what claims do you have? Uh, the three around. I'll give you those. What about you, Tavir? Got any claims? Makes more sense for this to go to Tiver uh, and this to go to me. Ah yes, the delightful side of EU4. Click buttons to divvy up land. That works. Um, we take Palm. Kind of important to me I'd want to take money, but I guess not. Just need that one province up there. We take White Sea Trade. Hmm. Plus one diplomatic relation till the end of the game. I love that. I do like that, that um, Paradox got a bit more ballsy in giving stuff out for mission. But that does mean that there's a bit of a difference between, for example, someone like the, someone like the Ottomans who had their missions done early and, well, you know, this lot. So I'll get permanent bonuses to the end of the game for doing certain things, as like Novgorod, but then the Ottomans have like just claims and claims and claims. I still haven't actually taken out the Livonian. You ready to be annexed yet? Mm, close. All right. Mercenary cost minus 20% and mercenary discipline plus 5%. Very useful for us. Rely on that sort of stuff. Okay. Trade between rivals and guild rivals, noble staff. Money is money, new or old. Action efficiency. Gaining power one of the nodes we do. Nope. We'll pay to, we'll pay to get rid of that. Other than that, thank you very much. Oh, Perm's alive. They're a tributary state of no guy. Interesting. How do you manage that one then? Oh, look at that money. Austria declares war on Bohemia for restoration of the Union. Loads of parcel unions going around. Not like our strong republic. Well, we're not really a republic because no one voted this guy in. It's just a thing. We just have him. Ah, you allied Austria. Well, we want to go off like the Great Horde and stuff anyway, don't we? Oh, our people are happy. <laughs> Quite a nice event. Sometimes in EU4, you get events that are like a bit more personable. Because you see like the same event a hundred times of like, oh, quarantine the province. You don't care. But when it's like, huh. People are people are doing good. Like, oh, that's that's nice. Not not the most relevant thing, but it's it's nice that you're actually doing something. I wish that the game focused more on that because I think that would help like the sort of the role play element. Because right now, right, I'm playing as 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 must as as Novgorod and I'll oppress the people. I don't, I don't care, right? Like, I just provoked a role and murder fourteen thousand people. But if it had a bit more flavor to it, where like uh, I don't know, I I don't want it to be like CK3. I suppose it's a different kind of game. But there are those moments where you get those events where you're like you're you're a bit more immersed instead of it being which right now to me is I want to get this number going up. I want to conquer this. I want to conquer that. There's less uh, storytelling. If you know what I mean, I think the game could benefit a bit more from pivoting in that direction slightly. Just having moments where you're like, okay, I want to do this to try and improve the lives of my people. Let me know your thoughts on that kind of thing, because I know a lot of people, some people hate it. They, they despise that kind of stuff. They they want to just play their spreadsheet uh, simulator in, in peace, which I completely get and understand. Okay, we're going to get our morale of eyes plus 10%, and I think we get ourselves the free company as well as we prep to fight the Great Horde. I say prep, let's just do it. Interesting to see if no guy in fact give us military access. Damn, that's a lot of rebels that we're just gonna wipe out. This is actually gonna suck. Oh no, the three star general. See, look, another one. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, he's straight. Okay, I'm not gonna complain anymore. But what? when did we stop getting, did I? I must have clicked some meritocratic rule. Let's have a look. The masses. Okay, so we don't get to select our guys anymore. They just they just straight up vote. I wish it said that somewhere. Because it didn't it's like over oh, it doesn't say. Surely it's that one, not the Doge one, right? It should say somewhere that that's the that's the idea. We are fixed to the duchy rank, which is kind of an issue. Pretty sure we can do something like the Great Vesh Republic. Is it by finishing this? Oh, I was about to say, so did no guy get here? Oh, it was about to get here. They they did. They did in fact get here. Um I don't know if we're gonna get there in time. We bloody try, can't we? It's got another three star general. No, it's the same one. Damn, that guy's been around for a while. All right, let's push on to you lot. Thing here, cultural administration. I expose the culture and promote, cu promote culture cost minus 50%. I like that. Although we might need administrative divisions for further governing capacity. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, we're going to need it considering we're fixed. Just waiting for some... There's a lot of rebels. Just waiting for you guys to go to Saratov. Not Saratov, uh, Astrakhan. There are rebels over there as well. Now the rebels over here are fighting each other. Let's put some guys here just to keep an eye on things. Because we have to bear in mind that I can't see where we're going. Okay, it looks like Crimea lost to Lithuania. Ah, oh, Theodora's dead. <laughs> I am going to murder this lot now. Those are those rebels dealt with at great personal cost. How many rebels do you have? At least they're sieging down this province now, so I don't have... I can't even piece you out yet. All right. Keep running around his lands. I don't know how far he stretches. Looks pretty big considering usually he's like horizontally oriented. If he's wide, it means he's won a war against uh, Oira. I'm pretty sure he has like a lot of troops still somewhere because I can't see them. I, I do want the 600 duck because we're rich, right? But I, I don't know. I feel like we've just been so constantly at war that we haven't actually been able to use our wealth. 21%. That is enough for me to intervene and take over. Yep, there are the troops. No, stay. That's 26,000 troops. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable much into this. It's worth just getting out and get as much money, but honestly, you allied to no guy? You are, okay. Oh, we'll fight you again then. We're a bit more prepared. Could have gotten to an Allah's alliance with no guy, I suppose. Oh, for God's sake. Where's this? Solvi, Sol, 
So that's a province that is up north that I cannot pronounce. God, we've had to fight so much more than we would have had to have otherwise. Just because of the sheer quantity of rebels in this man's land. I've genuinely never seen anything like it. It's it's so fraught. Frankly, it's ridiculous. We might be a stabilizing force in the region over this. Ryzen gets larger. We get National Unrest and also Yield Prestige. We're gonna have to fight the Danes now anyway. I still haven't fought this lot. Okay, allied to Poland, that's ideal. Let's go fight him. Because allied to Poland means I don't have to fight uh, Austria. Our troops aren't great. There's just usually quite a few of them because, you know, I really didn't need that. Okay, the cat has decided to go walk about. Stay out of the camera before you go. That's, nope, that's that's higher than the camera. Look right a little. The other side. You know, your other right. I live um, alone with just my cat and my dog. So the cat has become incredibly affectionate um, and needy. Which I don't hate. <laughs> Great our trade over here in. Okay, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Braid it a little bit. And then we need 200 ducats. All right, there's the next tech, which is good because we're going to need it to build a dry dock. Oh, and also we forgot the icon when we start a war. Dry docks is just a dock. What's the difference between a dock and a dry dock? Is a dock just in the water and a dry dock maybe you build the ship before putting it in the water? All right, let's get claims on the Livonians. How many men do the Poles control? Oh, they're ooh, the target of a coalition. I thought you were allied to Poland. Oh, no, it's Lithuania. It's allied to Austro oh, Australia. Really? Ostrov, 14,000? Kind of busy, bro. That's Ostroda. I to say, can I summon troops in other people's lands? Probably quite close. It's also surrounded by three forts, so just rise up. Need to deal with Regan separatists first, hopefully before they siege down another province, but I don't think I'll be able to answer that separatism. This province that I got to beforehand, well, no, it's not true. It's still very much suffering issues. Start the process of annexing you. Annex vassal. Uh, let's also grab integration policy. Regan's aren't gonna rise up. I, I need them to. To be fair, I shouldn't be building like financial buildings. I should be building uh, manpower ones because that's what we're always lacking in. Maybe we should rely he more heavily on mercenaries. Muscovy beats no guy in a war. Really interesting. Okay, <laughs> good job. Once I'll choose the Muscovy up. This leader is a strict, inspiring leader. He's, we're actually, our military is really good just because of him. I like the Great Horde. He's, he's a disappointing personal leader, but like as an overall leader, he's great. I might be able to force him out by, don't care if the Astrakhan area is terrorized by mercenaries, that has absolutely no bearing on me whatsoever. Let's see, if I just stand on his promise, I need to kill, oh no, that's a mistake, that's a huge mistake. Got a little bit cocky there. I don't have the manpower to spare. I was hoping I could just sort of stand, like kill his army and then stand on uh, his capital, which would have worked if I had been able to kill his army. Unfortunately, as it happens, he has way more troops than I would have thought. I would have thought he'd probably have about six, 7,000, not 13,000 troops. He's stronger this time around than last time. I was a stabilizing force in the region. I'm gonna take out loans because of this stupid event. Does that make you disloyal? Now, let's do what we were trying to do before. And go and stand on each of his provinces to try and force him into a white piece early. It's again the same place. Astrakhan, the mercenaries are looting it again. We're back for round two, boys. You want a piece out now? You do. A little bit of money for my troubles. I think all this stuff I'm gonna take directly myself. What's the mission? Beat Muscovy. I need to own those territories up there. So nothing south. Oh yeah, I suppose my perception of Muscovy has shifted. He technically only occupied these areas, but because he's taken out parts of Kazan, it looks like he had more stuff. But Kazan technically starts here. <laughs> Kazan has been split into four. It's very confusing. So yeah, that's Kazan. Then I'm going to take Kazan just because it's a trade thing. I love how eloquent I am sometimes. A trade thing. Oh, the boys are a little bit disgruntled. Diplomatic reputation, that makes Tavir annex a little bit quicker. Like I said, we're like a relatively stable nation. I would say that we just, what we're doing is fully utilizing all our resources in terms of manpower and money and stuff. Like, at no point do we realistically, uh, what do you mean recon? What do you have a core? Anyway, at no point do we have any sort of money or manpower because we're constantly using it. We have the Cossacks estate. Uh, worth going to debt for. Uh, they can give us yearly arms tradition and land leader shock, which is great. Give you some self-governance. Yep, yeah, because of this. Patriots really not having anything, huh? Cossacks are easily my favorite estate. They give you powerful bonuses without asking for anything in return. Look at that. 20% cavalry combat ability. If you're running the winged hussars, whew, Beat Muscovy. Still need to kill my. Grab ourselves another merchant. Try place him in Astrakhan. Or as I like to call it, Astrakhan. Okay, I need 100% my naval force limit, and then I get that. It's good stuff. Probably should have been paying better attention there. Palmer's at war with Ming. Is it because Uzbek got attacked? Why are you at war with Ming? Who are you allied to? Oh, you're a vassal of Kazan who is allied to Uzbek. Why don't we go after Kazan? Oh, extra troops. Didn't realize they were down there. Pressure power. We can't do parliamentarianism. None of the Boyer State's land. By the crown, at least 23%. And loyalty is higher. Uh, parliamentarianism, I, I asked the one I want. It is at least 23%. We need their loyalty to be higher. Than it. Well, it'll drift upwards to 63. And then the influence should come down to. Five percent from the diet. All of that then for now. If you're a tributary state under Ming. That's a fun development, isn't it? All right, we got our first little idea here. Um, Probably gross expansion impact, right? Like, there's not really much else here. Oh, Sweden's independent. Allied to England and Lithuania. Well, there's my route into Lithuania via, you know, not having to fight Austria. Okay, I think the play is we fight Kazan, then the Livonians, then Sweden. I think that's a good idea. Oh, it's the Kazani conquest of Nogai. Oh, we're about to shake things up. 
Ah, oh, for God. Every time. <laughs> Why? How many men do you have? Six, like 9,000. Okay. He's probably going to pop. Oh, I wanted just a quick blitzkrieg. Like, Doga, you could have held on a little bit longer and you'd have been absolutely fine, mate. All right, Tavares been annexed. So it's at this point, I will go ahead and trigger this mission. And this mission, get ourselves free subjects. Right, things are trundling. Colonialism appears. You know, one. It's not too late. Sometimes colonialism takes a bloody while. No guy getting taken out by the Great Horde now. No guy's really had a fall from grace since trying to attack a lobotomized Muscovy and failing miserably. I didn't want to, but I guess I'm annexing you directly. National unrest guy. Get rid of the internal conflicts. Does. Brilliant. We've got to select the Boyars one. Hope it wasn't that. But we're going to need to take this province in order to please them. All right, let's go for a quick little foray down here. I need a land connection to Riga, to be honest. You may hear some slight crackling. Do not adjust your headset. That is probably the cat rubbing up against my microphone. And now she's leaving. Wonderful. Well, you are a valuable addition to this video, cat. I appreciate you. Please get your tail out of my face. Okay, now she's sitting on my hand. Go away. Poles arrived with a lot more men than I have. Okay. All right. Well, it's time to put this to good use, isn't it? Ideally, I want someone with a decent... It's a 4-4, but it does cost 700. If you wouldn't... Mind, there you go. Why should we lose in per month now? All right, so combat ability wise, we have 115% discipline and much higher morale. And I think we have a tech advantage. All right, stay somewhat together. Uh, and I'd rather, yeah, the Cossack host be sieging down these provinces. Bear in mind, our, also, our, that means our mercenaries have 120% discipline, I think. Something stupid like that. Ah, yeah, Swedish separatists. Um, and then I can't have to do with them. Someone in Orenburg? Oh, well, we have troops here already. My incompetence is actually kind of useful. I mean, my strategic brilliance, knowing that they would. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> Try and swing that one, boys. Find another set of rebels. We can probably win that. Two Warsaw one. Looks like he's gonna head up and around us. He is indeed. I think I'd rather fight him though. Mildly outnumbered as we are. Uh, this siege isn't progressing too much. Let's go fight him. Time is up to us. gonna go up north. There's a fort there to protect it. That's fine. We'll send the free company to go and deal with them as well. 354 in charge. That does lose us, lose us uh, some heavy bonuses. That goes all our admins. Try and get our stability back up. Oh, wait, hang on. He's <laughs> we've got another one. Let's see, is he any good as a, as a general? Uh, 3352. Honestly, yeah, pretty good. Play that every day of the week. Let's go siege on that. You can back up. Who are you allied to that I would want to get? No one particularly, because the Livonians are getting done up in this war. Those are just war ups from you. You're going to make me fight you. I mean, I guess I will. He is kind of hand-holding himself, his armies a little bit. They don't really seem to want to branch out too much. Honestly, suits me, because I don't really want to be dealing with 100... Thousand stacks. We do have lots of little um forts though. So unless he goes through Ryazan, which is completely open. The focus Diplo, we're quite behind on that. He's gonna take that fort. Can our boys stop it? Did not mean to attack that, but it works out in our favor. Lovely. If we win these two sieges. I think this war's done. There's one and then at the same time. Nice. All right, Poland. Mate, I can keep fighting Poland. I, honestly, he's not even dented me. See, that's what I wanted to avoid. This stupid like stretching out into the void. If I get a stack my pop here, it's five to one. Maybe now nah, their troops are kind of good. We're taking out more loans from events than we are from the war. I think it's rather telling. That's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Okay, I need to get out of this war now. We need just declared war on Poland and they will take stuff. Uh, okay, they'll give me a decent chunk of change. Let's get out of here. Oh, I've just black flagged everyone. Please don't be mastery stack. You're not. One, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, more before the Lithuanians turn up. Let's go. We're going to get rid of the Cossack hosts. We don't need them anymore. Okay, I think we've secured the entirety of... There we go. Wonderful. Um, could use this, I could do the whole vassalization thing. Defensive war. The worst idea in the world. But also, I, I can just fight Sweden, which I think is more reliable because they could call in the Austrians. And there you go, the Livonian. Very minimal coalition. And it's not like I've been conservative. Mother Russia and all her glory, yeah? Now, I do want to focus on striking this death blow to the Muscovites. That will also... My boyard's a bit more friendly. And there's our truce with Muscovy. Hey, the... Unfortunately, the Great Horde has decided to not get involved in this one. They just broke their line. This is going to be a very quick war. Is that three-star general still alive? Aww. And thus ends the Rurikovich reign. Is a subject. One of the following must be true. Is a subject to knock. Where did they spread the dynasty to? No, it seems to update. Brilliant. The end of Rurik's line. Russia only know one prince, the prince of Novgorod the Great. The heirs of Rurik will never be satisfied till they sack a great city, and so we must end their line. And so we do. And that is where we will leave it for today, boys. I would be very much inclined to increase, to, to increase, uh, to continue this uh, series. I think, like I said, next uh, play is to declare war and create Finland. Uh, and do all that good stuff. Take out uh, Lithuania. It looks like the Ottomans are taking up the, the Polish nicely for us as well. And I think the integration of Ryazan is coming up soon. Despite the fact that our governing capacity is limited by our rank, we are still able to uh, expand handily. Yeah, force limit wise, I think we're basically on top. Uh, obviously, there's the Ottomans, but you, know, you got to have an emboss, right? And also, when we fight Uzbek, we, still, we need to fight the Ming. It'll be quite an interesting one, because they're still dominant. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I do hope that you will like and subscribe, because it really does help me out and just sort of pushes the, uh, the video further. So, all I have to say, <laughs> goodbye.
Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Once you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.